Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week I'm going to show you how to do a clean install of Mac OS Sierra. Uh, I've got a, a MacBook Pro here that I want to do a clean install on. Uh, now for most of you, you may uh, just want to do the upgrade and that'll work fine in, uh, in most cases. Um, but in this case, I've got a Mac that has a few issues happening with it. So I want to do a clean install and just start over. I've got a few things popping up and, and just some problems with it. So I know a clean install is going to make it work. And so you may want to do this as well. And so I just want to show you how to make this happen. Uh, so the first thing that you want to do is go over to the Mac App Store and just download your copy of Mac OS Sierra because you want to have that already downloaded. And you can see I've already done that. So let me go ahead and put this down. Now once you've done that, uh, there's another thing that uh, you'll want to go get, and that is uh, an application called DiskMaker X. And so it's just at DiskMakerX.com right here. And uh, this is a really great uh, service that this guy puts out. He does have donations, so you may want to donate uh, to this guy because he keeps putting out some good uh, products here. And uh, he's updated this now for uh, Mac OS Sierra. And so you want to come here and just download this image and make sure that you put it in your applications uh, folder so that it's uh, ready to go because we're going to use this to create our disk image. All right, so let me just pop this down. What I'm going to do is come into uh, Finder here, my Applications folder, and there I've got Disk Maker X, and so I'm just going to double-click on this to run it. And let me just put this down. And so I'm immediately greeted with what version uh, do I want to make a boot disk of. And so you got Yosemite, El Capitan, and in this case I want to make it Sierra. So I'm just going to click on Sierra, and it says they found a copy of the installer in this Applications folder. Do I want to use that? Yes, I do. So I'm going to use this copy. And what kind of disk am I going to use? And so I'm going to say, in this case, I'm going to use this uh, thumb drive. It's going to ask which one I want to use. So I'm going to put it on the installer here. I'm going to choose this disk. And so again, it's just saying, hey, we're going to erase everything on that particular partition. Uh, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm going to say, yep. So we're going to erase it. And the next step is for administrator privileges. We're going to say continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to ask for my password here. So we just wait for that to come up. And it might take a few minutes for it to work uh, to where it comes up. And here we go. So now there it is asking me for my password. So I'm going to put that in and say OK. And you see everything disappears. And now it's doing its job. So we just wait now until it is finished. And it will tell us on the screen when everything is set and ready to go. Okay, so the disk uh, creation is finished, and so as you can see here, it says the boot up disk is ready. To use it, I just have to reboot my Mac and, and uh, press the Alt key to select the startup disk preference. And uh, again, it asks for a donation and all of that. And so, uh, that's a, again, it's just a really nice uh, piece of software. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and say quit right here and get rid of that and you can see it's got this little thing that slides out at the top and the nice thing about this is it does give you feedback as you're doing the installation on how close it is to finishing creating the install disk and uh, making it look good and they do a really good job I mean it's even got the background and everything and everything you need is all set up there with the utilities and such and so again it is it is set up and ready to go so in order to install, all I need to do now is just uh, double click on this and it would start the install process. But what I need to do first though is really boot uh, from this installer disk in order for us to get to a place where we can install. Uh, to do that, I can hold down the Alt key or another way to do it is if I just come up here to System Preferences, I can also come in here and change the startup disk if I want. And you can see it's going to recognize the different startup disks that we've got. And uh, it's got this one. Uh, again, uh, I've got to unlock it to make the change to this being the startup disk. Uh, but you can see I've got it sitting right there, and I could start it that way. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to do the uh, traditional way of just holding down the Alt key on Restart, and then it will start the process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it restarts. Okay, so here we are on the restart, and as you can see, I've got my install Mac OS Sierra up there. So I'm just going to come over to that and hit enter. And we're going to restart from that installer disk. So I'm going to let that run. It's going to take a few minutes to do that. Okay, so here we are booted into our install disk. And what I'm going to do, because I want to do a clean install on this, I want to first wipe the internal hard drive on my laptop. So again, before you do this, you want to make sure that you have a bootable backup with everything set and ready to go. Uh, I've already done that with SuperDuper. Uh, once you know you have that or a great time machine backup, one or the other, 
uh, then what we want to do is go into disk utility. So let me just come down here. We're going to hit just disk utility and say continue. And it's going to then open up disk utility for us, as you can see right there. And now it's loading our disks. And so there we go. There's our disk right there. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. And what we want to do is we want to uh, repartition this. We want to erase what's on here and repartition it so that we have uh, a clean install. So I'm just going to come in here and say, uh, in fact, let's just say erase. And so we're going to have to uh, name it. So I'm going to put a name here for the drive. And we want to make sure that we leave the partitioning the way it is. We're on a GUID table. I'm going to say erase. And so now it's going to unmount the disk and it's going to start erasing it. And now it's been erased and everything's set and ready to go. So now I've got a clean drive on which to install my operating system. I've got everything set the way I want it and I don't have to worry about it. So all I need to do now is just close out of disk utility and I'm back here into the Mac OS utilities. And so now I'm going to say install Mac OS and I'm going to say continue. And what it's going to do is it's going to load the Mac OS installer and then start the install process. And so I'll walk you through what that looks like. And so there we are. Here's the installer window. So I'm going to click on continue. And it's going to load the agreement here. I'm going to say agree. It's going to ask me twice if I agree with the license. I'm going to say yes. And then I pick the disk I want to install it on. And so I'm going to do it on this Macintosh hard drive here. That's my main hard drive, not the installer disk. And I just click on install. And now it's going to start this process of loading what it needs to install Mac OS. And so you can see it says about seven minutes there. Uh, so we're going to let it do what it needs to do to download the necessary pieces uh, to start the install process. Again, I'm working from a USB 3 thumb drive, so that could influence the time as well. But we're going to go ahead and let it run, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, here we are to the final countdown here, down about eight, nine, seven some odd seconds and so it's going to get down to the end here and it has loaded what it needs to load and now it should restart uh, which it's doing right now and it should then restart into the install process and so as you can see here we've got the apple up we've got uh, the bar going here to install and it's slowly loading and you can kind of see the the little uh, light at the end of that bar there starting to load uh, various pieces. And so I'm going to let this run for a second here. Uh, usually it gives us an idea of the length of time. And so I'm going to let this run here and let's see what comes up as we're waiting for this. Okay, my camera's struggling a little bit with focus there, but we got about 11 minutes remaining. So we're going to go ahead and let uh, this install, and I'll let you know how long it takes for us to get uh, through the install process. Okay, so we're down to the less than a minute remaining, and uh, it took about the time that it said. It's only taken about about that 12 minutes uh, that it set off uh, with originally, so now it's restarting again since we're at the end of that. And so let's see what happens when it reboots. It should be a second, uh, you know, installation here. And so we'll wait for it to do what it needs to do. And here it comes back on. We've done the restart. It's going through the restart process. You can see the bar sliding across there. And we'll see what it looks like as it starts to finish up the process here. See the bar sliding across. And here we go, launched right into the setup screen. 
if I can fix a little bit of that so you can see that easier. All right, so we select our language. I'm going to leave it in our location, United States. I'm going to leave it as a U.S. keyboard. Uh, we need to set up our uh, Wi-Fi. So I'm going to select this one right here and put in the password. Okay, once I have that in there, then I just hit continue. And it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi there. And so now it asks us if I want to transfer any information. And I'm not going to do that. That's why I did a clean install. So you can do it from a Windows PC or from a Mac and Time Machine backup. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it alone and say next. And then it asks if I want to enable location services. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I want to do uh, find my Mac. So I'm just going to say continue. And so now it's going to bring up the prompt here for me to sign in with my Apple ID. So let me put that information in. Okay, once I have that information in there, then I will say continue. And it's going to verify that. And because I have two-factor authentication set up, it's going to ask me where I want that number to be sent. So I'm just going to send it to my phone, say continue. And so I just got to wait now for the number to show up and take me to the next step. And now it's the terms and conditions, which I will agree to. And it's going to ask me to agree again. And so now I put in the full name and account name that I want for this computer, as well as a password and a hint and uh, all of that sort of thing. So let me go ahead and put that in right now. Okay, now that I've got that information in there, I'm going to say continue. And it's going to set up my computer account and my home folders and all of that information. And so you can see that it's checking that up. It's setting up iCloud right now. And there we go. So now it asks if I want to set up iCloud Keychain. I'm going to say sure. So I'll say continue. And it's going to ask if I need to approve it from another device or security code. I'm just going to approve from another device and say OK. So another device will do that. And then I can decide whether I want to turn on File Vault uh, disk encryption uh, and allow my iCloud account to unlock my disk. And so I'm going to go ahead and just do that since this is a laptop. And then I can store my files and documents in iCloud Drive. And this is a new thing with Mac OS uh, Sierra that I can do that. And I've done a screencast on it that shows you how to set this up on an existing Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and store my files and documents in iCloud Drive and uh, continue. Uh, especially it comes in handy if it's a laptop like this. And so now if I want to send diagnostic data to Apple and share crash data, um, I'm just going to go ahead and let that happen. And now I can enable Siri. And again, this is a new feature in Mac OS Sierra as well, is the Siri function. I'm going to go ahead and enable that. And so now it's going to set up my Mac. And you can see it's setting up all of the different pieces of it. A few minutes for that to happen. There's the final little checkbox there. And so it should boot right into the brand new, fresh install of the desktop here. And so it's got everything set up and ready to go. Clean install, all set. So I'll uh, switch over to my other device and we'll wrap up from there. Okay, so here we are on the desktop. Everything is launched and set up and ready to go here. And you'll notice that a couple of things. Number one, what you'll notice is that I've got this inbox file here with a little cloud download icon. And that's because I set up the document sharing uh, where I'm storing my documents on iCloud. And in a previous screencast, I showed you how to set that up with uh, Mac OS Sierra. And so now because I've got the same Apple ID, it shows this folder here. And so now my documents folder and all of the items inside them are available for me to download to this uh, Mac if I want to do that. And then I can keep those documents in sync because they'll live in the cloud. So again, just a, a nice feature that's been built into Mac OS Sierra. So that gives you an idea of how to do a clean install. And I'll continue to do some screencasts to show you some of the features of it, but just wanted to show you how to do that. So now that you've got an upgrade, I did a screencast on that, and now there's one on a clean install. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.